The Story of the Lost Treasure In a small, peaceful village nestled between mountains, there lived a boy named Sam. Sam was adventurous and always curious about the unknown. The village was surrounded by dense forests, and in the heart of those woods, there was a legend of a treasure hidden for centuries. This treasure was the subject of many stories Sam heard from his grandfather, who was known as the best storyteller in the village. Whenever Sam sat with his grandfather, listening to tales of ancient heroes and lost treasures, he felt a burning desire to discover it for himself. His grandfather would always say, the treasure you're searching for is not just gold or jewels. It's an experience that will teach you much about yourself and life. One day, Sam decided that he would embark on an adventure to find this lost treasure, and he knew he couldn't do it alone. So, he gathered his friends to join him on this exciting journey. The first to join was Alex, Sam's loyal childhood friend. Alex was calm, but very creative, always thinking outside the box. Next, they were joined by Emma, a brave and intelligent girl who loved solving puzzles. Finally, there was Jack, a strong boy who always knew how to face danger and tackle any physical challenges they might encounter. The four friends met early in the morning in the village square, carrying their backpacks filled with supplies and tools for the journey. They were excited, but also nervous, as the forest they were heading into was full of mysterious tales. They bid farewell to their families and set off on their adventure. At first, the journey through the forest was smooth. The trees were tall, and their branches created a canopy above, letting just enough sunlight through. But as they ventured deeper into the woods, the trees grew denser, and the sounds around them became strange, almost as though the forest itself was watching them. After several hours of walking, they reached a point that seemed to mark a turning point. Before them stood an old, rickety bridge, crossing a fast-flowing river. The bridge was covered in moss, and it seemed fragile as if it might break at any moment. Do we cross here? asked Alex, looking at the bridge with hesitation. Yes, we must, replied Jack confidently. There's no other way. They stepped onto the bridge, and as they crossed, the wooden planks creaked loudly, and the entire structure swayed beneath them. It was a nerve-wracking moment, but they made it across safely. Once on the other side, they felt a great sense of relief, but also an uneasy feeling that something even more mysterious awaited them. They continued on their journey, and after several more hours, they came across something odd, a massive rock with strange markings etched into it. Do you recognize these symbols? Sam asked, staring at the markings. I've seen these before in old books, Emma said, studying them carefully. These are ancient symbols, from a civilization that lived in this region long ago. This could be the clue we've been looking for. The group began to examine the symbols closely, and Alex, who had a keen eye for detail, read aloud, If you wish to find the treasure, you must follow the path to the heart of the forest. The clue was cryptic, but they had no choice but to keep moving forward. They continued their trek deeper into the forest, and as they moved on, the woods became even stranger. The trees bent in peculiar ways, almost as if they were guiding the group along the right path. Days passed, and they felt as though they were getting closer, though the forest was testing their patience. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, they reached the foot of a mountain. At the base was a cave, dark and foreboding. Before the entrance stood an ancient chest, covered in dust and overgrown with vines. Is this it? Jack asked, gazing at the chest. Did we finally find it? But before they could open it, a deep, booming voice echoed from within the cave. A mysterious figure appeared in the shadows, cloaked in ragged clothes and with their face hidden. Who dares enter here? The figure asked, its voice both deep and commanding. Do you know what you are about to do? We're here to find the lost treasure, Sam replied, trying to sound confident, though his heart was racing. The figure chuckled, a low, eerie sound. You seek gold and jewels, but that is not the true treasure. If you truly wish to claim what is hidden, you must first pass a test. This is no test of strength or bravery, but of the heart. The figure began to tell the group an ancient story about previous heroes who had sought the treasure before them. Many had failed, not because they were unworthy, 
but because they were not prepared to answer the questions that would reveal whether they were truly deserving of the treasure. The true treasure lies not in what you find, but in what you learn about yourselves along the way. The friends realized that their journey had just begun, but it was much harder than they had anticipated. The mysterious figure began to ask them difficult, introspective questions about honesty, sacrifice, and faith. Each of them had to answer honestly, from the heart. Once they had passed the test, the cave rumbled, and the rocks around them shifted, revealing a hidden chamber filled with gold, jewels, and ancient artifacts. However, in the center of the room, there was a book, weathered and worn by time. Sam approached it and opened its pages. Inside, he found valuable lessons about life, wisdom, and the importance of living with courage and integrity. It became clear to Sam and his friends that the real treasure wasn't gold or jewels, it was the lessons they had learned, the friendships they had strengthened, and the courage they had discovered within themselves. They had not only found treasure, but had also transformed in the process. They returned to their village, not with piles of gold, but with the ancient book and the knowledge they had gained. When they shared their story, everyone in the village came to understand that the true treasure wasn't something material. It was the journey itself, the wisdom they gained, and the bonds they formed along the way.